The end to this war may not be anywhere in sight, but Vladimir Zelensky still wanted to thank these Ukrainian troops for their service so far. In a bid to boost morale, the Ukrainian president visited frontline positions across the Donbass. We headed east with the head of the office. We were in Lysychansk. We were in Solidar. I'm proud of everyone I met, everyone I shook hands with, communicated with and supported. We brought something to the military. We also brought you something from them. We brought confidence and strength. It's well wishes that people in Lysychansk are in desperate need of. Oleksandr's house was just hit by Russian shelling. He says he had just about enough time to save his cat. They shoot here endlessly. I don't know where they shoot, who shoots, how it flies. It's a horror show. Luhansk's neighbor Severodonetsk is also bearing the brunt of Russia's offensive as Moscow fights to topple what is the last Ukrainian-controlled city in Luhansk. Despite fierce fighting in the streets and in the skies, Ukrainian authorities say their troops are going back territory. All that's being said by Russian propagandists, by their spokesmen, regarding their total control of Severodonetsk is not true. The Russians controlled about 70% of the city, but during the last two days they were pushed back. The city now is divided approximately in half. Ukrainian authorities say the military continue to repel attacks in Donetsk and Luhansk. The two areas make up the eastern Donbass, a region the Russian army has now focused its energy and firepower on capturing.